Sure. Um, so my name is Christine. I am a 28 year old entrepreneur. My background is in real estate. I majored in real estate finance at SMU and graduated from SMU in 2015. After graduating from SMU, I worked for Goldman Sachs in Dallas with their realty management division um, and did that for almost two years before moving back to Los Angeles, where I got my real estate broker's license and worked for my family's real estate company. Um, and then in 2019, December of 2019, I decided that I would rather pursue my own passions and I decided to leave my dad's company and start my own company. So in January of 2020, I formed Locker 2.0 Inc., which is my current company. And I love all things fashion and making people feel beautiful in the clothes that they wear and like reinforcing people's decisions um, when they are shopping and helping them shop that that's how this new company was created and why it was created. Okay, great. Awesome. So uh, who who is the role model? My role model. I have a lot of different role models, but I would say that my dad is probably my number one role model. He um, has always been a hard worker in everything that he does. So if he's you know, cleaning the backyard, he's doing it well. And if he's taking care of the family, he's doing it well. And my dad doesn't have a college education and started his own company and taught himself real estate and got his real estate license. And I look up to him in every way, just from his perseverance and his determination to um, be good at everything that he does and take care of the people around him. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Uh, great. So, uh, while uh, you know you have been on this uh, journey, what mm -hmm. are some of the things uh, you know uh, that you count as obstacles that you have faced? Uh, you know, while being on this journey. Also, um, since you graduated to till this date, okay, what has been your overall uh, journey? What has been this road like for you? Mm -hmm. I'm. So in having a major in real estate and then now being an entrepreneur, the two don't really have a lot of overlap. So when I went to start my own company, I left my job at my dad's company and the next day decided to start digging into everything online that I could find about like how to start my own company and how to start a startup. Um, and so I would say that the first month of being on my own was extremely scary in that I had no idea what I was doing. Every decision that I made and every phone call that I made was to educate myself. I started listening to every podcast that I could. I read uh, many, many articles on other founders' experiences. I enrolled myself in YC Startup School, which, which is just an online program that Y Combinator offers um, in order to learn as much as I could about starting a startup. But I would say that once I started the company, the biggest obstacles I faced have been being a solo founder. I think that something I struggle with even every day now is that I don't have that person to bounce ideas off of. So every decision I make is only reinforced by myself. So I'm making a product, yes, that is something out of a personal need. And so I'm making, I'm building a product for people that are like me, but I also don't have that other person to say, this is a great idea, or I think we should do it this way. And so I spend a lot of time by myself. I spend a lot of the day just with myself and only with myself. And so I find the solo founder journey to be somewhat lonely at times. And that's been the biggest obstacle is not giving up because I feel lonely or feel tired in the process. That's true. Actually, it's it's very, uh, you know, uh, alone. Uh, and uh, I, I, I can totally relate because I was actually working on some idea and I was totally, you know, kind of uh, working on my own and uh, always wanting to, you know, uh, have someone who can actually 
uh, you know just uh, say, at least say yes and no uh, yes. about uh, you know my decisions so yes. i can totally relate to that and uh, yeah but um, at the end of the day if you are uh, you know doing it alone i think uh, you are you know uh, taking yourself as you know uh, all the decisions are your responsibility and you move uh, really really uh, you know uh, fast uh, when mm -hmm. you are alone i think so I, i think it has got its own pros and cons yeah it definitely does yeah so what are some of the key achievements that mm -hmm. you have achieved uh, while being on this journey sure um so outside of i would say that the biggest achievement has been starting something from square one and building a product out of that um seeing my web extension and social platform exist and having people use it today. It's in beta form right now. So we have 50 beta users um, testing the product. We're iterating based on their feedback um, and then we'll launch publicly in a week. But I would say that just seeing the real, the product come to life has been my biggest achievement so far. I um, sometimes I'm still amazed when I like will tell people what I do and then I can show them the product and like they can use it. It's the most exciting thing to me to hear someone say like, oh my God, I love that. I can't like wait to use it and show my friends how to use it and like get my friends on it. That's the coolest thing to me because I would never assume that something I would build or create would like be adopted and used by other people. So it's a pretty exciting part of the journey, just being so close to having it available to the public um, and then getting to see people use what I've created. Awesome. And adding to that, I would say one of the key achievements is, you know, starting out early at the age of 28 and taking up entrepreneurship. That's a great achievement, I would say. Could Thank us do you. that? <laughs> yeah. Great, great. So what is one piece of advice would you like to give to our female uh, entrepreneurs or budding engineers who want to, you know, uh, build a startup or, you know, just to take, a, you know, a real estate job or a tech job or maybe just say follow their dreams? Mm hmm. I think that following your passion is the most important thing that you can do. So I did real estate and made that choice because it was what someone wanted me to do. And I think when you're good at something, I, I've always excelled in, in math and sciences. And so I was good at real estate. I was good at taking um, assets and doing valuations and, and, financially and using Excel, creating output, but mm -hmm. what I'm passionate about and what I'm good at, um, like in the sense of school are completely different. And so following my passion and following my dream has changed my life completely. I am happier every day to wake up and do my job. And I think that even if this doesn't work out and the company you know, doesn't become something big, I will be so proud of following my dreams and like giving it a try. And I think if you don't try something, you never know if it will be anything. So you always need to try. Um, and mm -hmm. the worst thing that can happen is you fail and you go and try something else. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. So would you like to talk about uh, your company, Locker? Sure. So Locker is a web extension and social shopping platform that allows users to save their favorites across over 300 direct-to-consumer brand websites. So it solves the pain points that have come up due to the explosion of direct-to-consumer brands, which has fragmented the online shopping marketplace. And so through the web extension, it will plug into the 300 brand websites. So when you're browsing a product, it will say save or recommend when you see the little plugin pop up and you mm -hmm. can click save and it goes automatically to your um, locker profile where then you see all of your saves in one place. You can organize them into collections on your platform. So if you're shopping for your birthday outfits or my sister just got engaged, so I've created an engagement collection for her and mm -hmm. um, your favorite workout outfits. You can organize those. So then when you're ready to buy something, you can go look 
um, in that collection specifically. Something else that's cool about the plugin is the recommend feature. So that's helpful for people who love to shop but have friends who don't like to shop. And so I can help them um, shop. So if I'm looking at a dress and I think that dress is perfect for my sister, I can recommend that to her and it goes straight to her um, locker profile as well. So there's a collaborative experience to the website. There's a convenience tool aspect of the website. And I describe it as the pocket for fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really kind of a niche function of Pinterest because Pinterest platform is so large, it's so hard to do one specific activity on there that mm -hmm. this platform takes one niche feature from Pinterest and just does it really well. That's that's awesome, and I will love to you know try that uh, yeah. once you guys launch actually because I shop a lot and I uh, you know give a lot of recommendation to my friends who are like uh, totally non shopaholic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So definitely, that sounds very interesting. So, what is uh, one piece of uh, you know advice that you want to give to our uh, female entrepreneurs? So, uh, and. Uh, in a way, like, uh, what is one thing that you want to change in this world and why? Ooh, that is a hard question. Um, so something I'm a huge advocate of is mental health and the stigma around mental health in the United States is actually mm -hmm. extremely powerful where people are less inclined and less willing to um, seek help when they are feeling, you know, mentally, maybe hurt or their heart is hurting. And so I'm a very big advocate for normalizing mental health and therapy and health and wellness. And that would probably be my biggest um, like encouragement to people in the world. Actually, a lot of people that I meet, I'm very forthcoming with the fact that um, I have a therapist and I talk to my therapist every week and I find it extremely beneficial for every aspect of my life. When I engage in improving my mental health and my well-being, it makes me a better person in the world. And I think that um, everybody could use a little bit of that. That's true. I would say, you know, uh, being the world we are in, actually, uh, you know, the kind of social media that we are using, it's very, uh, you know, easy to, you know, get depressed or frustrated or irritated mm -hmm. and it's very important to you know uh, you know have someone who to talk to like a therapist or mm -hmm. so i totally agree that people are now becoming you know more depressed as well as there are more people who are taking up therapy so mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's it a really good help change the world i do i truly believe that yeah that's true that's true yeah so that's it from us